This amazing story proves that even animals that have gone through hard times have a chance for a happy life in a loving family. Linda and her family gave Paco a second chance, and he thanks them with his boundless affection. Every day spent with Paco reminds them of the importance of trust, patience, and the extraordinary bond that can be built with a bird that was once lost but has now found a home. Linda, after reading numerous books and watching a couple of tutorials, found Paco online on the Trader website. He was really tense, very frightened, and was shivering. So, the woman took him home and named him Paco. Linda was informed that the previous owners of the parrot with whom he had lived for seven years decided to sell him due to behavioral issues. Paco also had health problems, including being overweight and having balance issues. Likely, Paco had been in a cage, keeping his feet in the same position for a long time. The parrot was scared of everything, especially hands. When there was a cup nearby, he was afraid of it and tried to bite Linda. Every day, the woman spent several hours with him engaging in reinforcement training. The parrot's training went very successfully. When Linda rewarded Paco, he was eager to do it many more times. Some things, such as bonding and the fact that Paco wasn't aggressive, happened quite quickly. But it took months to be able to pet the parrot. He has been living with Linda's family for three years now, and in that time, they have built a strong bond based on trust. They built this relationship by doing many things together. Paco really loves daily walks and bike rides. The parrot has gotten used to spending entire days outdoors, and it doesn't scare him. Heading to the forest, Paco takes off in excitement. He relaxes near Linda's gypsy wagon and looks around. He really enjoys it. Paco adores cuddling and kissing, and he also really likes Linda's company. He can sit with her for hours while she touches him and lean in to give her a kiss. Paco really loves Linda's family, especially her children. She sometimes jokes that they've acquired a green little brother. The previous owners clipped the parrot's feathers from a very early age, even before the parrot learned to fly. Now, flying isn't something special for him. Paco is much more accustomed to sitting on the hands or shoulder of one of his favorite family members during walks. In the winter, Paco stays indoors, and he and Linda play games or perform tricks. He loves doing that. Excess weight, balance issues, as well as trust issues. It took Linda's family a long time to successfully gain the parrot's trust. He's now around 10 years old. These parrots typically live for 25, 65 years. Linda's children know that when she becomes too old to care for Paco, they will live with the parrot, taking on all the responsibility of raising him, and will provide Paco with love and care on their own. 